they feel like mosquito bites. Oh my God, it, it's so Hey, Spice Squad, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, press that red subscribe button down below and press the bell so you don't miss a thing your girl posts. Welcome, my name is Naya. If you're new here, become a part of the squad, gang gang, and press that red subscribe button. So today, I am about to go get my allergies tested, I guess. I used to get shots like, what, like four years ago, five years ago? Then I, no, that, I'm lying, like eight years ago, I used to get allergy shots because my allergies are so bad, y'all, like they suck. And I was, went to, when I went to college from my undergrad, they messed up my prescription, so I basically stopped getting my allergy shots, and I just went back to taking pills and stuff. So my allergies lately have, have been getting, like, so, so bad, like, just unbearable. Like, when I have an allergy attack, like, it goes crazy, and, like, all my friends and family that be around me knows. Like, it takes me down. I be down for the count, and I basically have to go to sleep in order for them to go away. Like, the pills and stuff just don't be working. So I'm like, you know what, I need to go back to the allergy doctor, set up my allergy shots because they worked for me and made me be like a normal person. I'm like allergic to everything. I belong in a bubble. But anyways, I'm bringing you guys along for the ride as I get tested. I'm not sure how they're going to test me this time. Last time it was like all down my arm and they put different things in my body and like my skin was bubbling up like, like if I had a whole bunch of mosquito bites that's how like it bubbled up and they seen what I was really allergic to and they'll determine if I need to get allergy shots again I'm thinking like of course I'm gonna have to get allergy shots again but we'll take the test and we'll see and we'll see everything that I'm allergic to y'all so stay tuned if you guys haven't been to like a doctor's office or anything um I'm obviously at the allergy doctor I checked in you have to kind of sit like two seats apart they have two signs like you can't sit here. We not sparing the room around here. Y'all, so she just did it. This is it. And I have to wait 15 minutes. Those marks are like the numbers when I tell y'all. It itched so bad. They feel like mosquito bites. Oh my god, it, it's so bad. It literally feels like 40 mosquitoes attacked me. That's how many things went in. It was like a thing like this, and it and then it and then it did, and then it did. And each one, each one was something. So it's like grass trees weeds cats dogs and last time i was allergic to cats and dogs so y'all gonna see so i don't ever need to be surprised with a dog as a pet or something like that because i'm allergic you can just give me a bag keep the dog money <laughs> or some shoes I reacted to almost all of them. I'm about to show y'all. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, almost like 30 out of 40 so far. And it's only been, what, not even five minutes. It doesn't look like I reacted to anything between like 36 and 40. Just a little to something on 36. This is one through 20. They look like mosquito bites, right y'all? 
oh my gosh, it itched so bad. Like, what do you do when you can't itch? And on top of that, your girl got to pee. Okay. Okay, anyways. Let me try to take my mind off of this and talk to y'all for a little bit. So this past week, I was recently on a podcast. I look crazy with this, Jonah. I was recently on a podcast called The Last Word Podcast featuring Sabri or Breeze and Chris. Um, it was a lot of fun. I'll make sure I put the link in the description so you guys can. They asked some really interesting questions. Like maybe I'll insert a clip here so you can kind of see like a question that was asked and y'all let me know what y'all think I said. Have you ever cohabitated? And two, do you view it as a good or a bad thing? By your face, I'm, I'm gonna guess your answer, but I ain't gonna say it. <laughs> um, technically, I have. So, okay, how about you define cohabitation? Cohabitation is when you live with a person, majority. So the way they define living with somebody is Majority of your overnights throughout a year are spent with him. So that only takes about, you know, 180 days. Um, or, or if you got a key. Yeah, or <laughs> if you got a key that. If you got a key. If you got a Check that podcast out. They're super dope. Shout out to Breeze and Chris for inviting me and having me on your podcast. Would love to do it again. And they're going to do big things, y'all. So make sure y'all subscribe to their channel and check out their social media. Anyways, back to this allergy stuff. My arms are so red. I will be back with the results in just a moment. This cream is like helping with the itching. So basically, I'm allergic to everything, y'all. I'm gonna go over it in a second, but they have to retest me for the negative ones. And only had a couple negative ones, but most were positive. And the lady said, basically, you can't go outside. She's like, you have horrible allergies. Okay guys, so whatever I did not react to on my arms, so I reacted to 21 different things on my arms. This is the cream. Whatever I didn't react to, they had to put on my arm because they had to use a needle to go under a layer of my, like more into my skin. Um, so there's like 19 of those and you can see I'm already reacting. They were looking and thinking like my arm's already swollen from it. And they do itch. They itch y'all. Guess what y'all? I'm allergic to water. What in the dirtiness is that? So I can't take showers? Nah, like, I don't know. They I reacted positive to it, so I'm not sure what may happen or like what my allergic reaction is to water. Mind you, I drink a gallon of water a day. I shower at least two times a day. I brush my teeth. Like we do so much with water. Like water's in my body. Maybe that's why my skin is so sensitive. Like it's sensitive to everything. My face breaks out. If it's a sunny, beautiful day, my skin will just like, oh, pimple pop out. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and I have eczema, so I thought I'd get like eczema breakouts though from like when I eat something that I'm allergic to. Um, yeah, so we're gonna let this get its 15 minutes. I'm ready to go because I'm itchy and I got pee. <sighs> All right, now it's really starting to itch. Okay, I'll be back momentarily. Hey, so I'm back home, uh, I got my results back. Everything highlighted I'm allergic to, and that's most of the page. Okay, so let me just let y'all know what I'm allergic to. I'm allergic to so many trees, birch tree, oak tree, eastern mix. Um, I'm allergic to grass, obviously. I'm allergic to so many weeds, ragweed mix, um, mud, mugwort, dock, plantain, weed. I'm allergic to horse. I'm allergic to cat. I like, I'm super allergic to cats and I hate cats, so good. Um, I'm allergic to dogs. I know I was allergic to cats and dogs, so. Bay, if you want a dog, that's dead. <laughs> I am allergic to, I said trees, a whole bunch of grass and a whole bunch of weeds. Uh, yeah, and I still have these marks on my arms. Still, they're not itchy anymore, but they look kind of weird. Look kind of weird. I mean, you can't really see on that. That, on that one. yeah. Sis is out here allergic to so much that hungry y'all. Um, so 
we came to the conclusion that I'm going to be getting shots again. I'm going to start my allergy shots again. I'll start off by getting them like two to three times a week to speed up this process. Because I basically have to work up this ladder. I'll start all the way at the bottom until I get to the maintain part. So I still can take my regular medicine that I've been taking, like the over-the-counter stuff, like I'm gonna go get me some Claritin D right now because I couldn't take allergy medicine for I couldn't take allergy medicine a week prior to getting this test. And when I tell you, like my body start freaking out, like I'm getting highs, I'm itchy, I'm congested, my throat hurts when I eat anything. Not hurts, but it's itchy. Eyes sneezing, just super like. <sighs> that's how I felt like <sighs> ears itching because her throat itch. So why don't we give me some more Claritin D because that seems to work the best. Uh. Regular Zyrtex works for my highs, but it does not work for my allergies. And the doctor's name was just saying, like, I basically blow up in a bubble. Y'all know I'll be cutting my own grass. They're like, yeah, you shouldn't cut your own grass. So, with that being said, I need a grass cutter. Um, I have my own lawnmower and I have a weed whacker. I just need some string for my weed whacker. So, if you're trying to cut my grass and, like, you should just do it to be good. Like, to do a good deed. Um, yeah, we can talk about it. <laughs> so... I guess I had a successful testing. I knew those were going to be the results. I knew I was going to need shots. And I'm glad I'm about to start getting my shots again because I'm tired of the allergies. Like, I'm going to be healed, though. And, you mean, I'll be healed. These allergies can go on about their business. So, if you have an event outside, a picnic or something, I can't come. I'm telling you in advance. It's like, no. I'm going to be there in a hazmat suit, in a bubble. Nah, but. Allergies suck, y'all. If you don't have allergies, a blessing. Yeah, so I think I'm done wrapping this up. Just wanted to bring y'all along with my allergy testing. I thought it was like super cool, especially if you've never seen it or if you're not like an allergy person. And if you are an allergy person or you're thinking about getting allergy shots, like this is the process. And they said there are even people that have been cured from their allergies once they take their shots over a significant, like over a couple years. So I am believing that I'm going to be one of those people that are cured by getting my allergy shots and these allergies can just going about their business okay period y'all know what i always say be the light wherever you go because wherever you go the light shall love you guys so much